click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the antibiotics and its classification and now in this topic we are going to talk about antiseptic and its uses. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, now we are going to talk about antiseptic and even antiseptic comes under the category of antimicrobial because it has a tendency to kill microorganisms or it has a tendency to stop the growth of the microorganisms. So in that case, we see the drugs which are applied to the living tissue to kill the bacteria or to stop the growth in wound, thus preventing its infection are called as antiseptics. So the common antiseptic that is what we know is Dettol and Dettol can be applied on the wounded region without having any or any kind of adverse effect on the body rather than the wounded region. So this is what I'm going to talk about and how does it affect. So based on this property we have certain uses of the different antiseptic and what are those uses let me talk about that. So here we are going to talk about the uses of antiseptic. For example Dettol, Iodoform etc they are not harmful for the living tissue but they can be applied to the wound because they are not affecting our body in fact they have only the tendency to kill the microorganisms or to stop the growth of the microorganisms that are basically affecting our that is wounded region of the wounded region so talking about that all that all is basically composed of two chemicals basically chlorosilinol and terpenol so these two chemicals are also that is antiseptics so talking about the next one that is biothionol so biothionol reduces the bacterial decomposition on the body and the thing is whenever the bacteria bacteria gets deposited on our body obviously it will smell a lot and that is a very bad smell so therefore if we apply biothionol so that reduces basically the bacterial growth and thereby the order gets reduced so this is what the uses of biothionol is and this is what it is present in the soaps or either it is present in the form of that is so talking about the other use that is boric acid so boric acid is in fact a mild antiseptic and most of the swimmers that is professional swimmers they use boric acid in the form of ear drop because the water in which they are busy swimming so that could be infected because of the microorganisms and all so that would be polluted water so they have a chance that the fungus could grow in their ears so to avoid that thing so they are using boric acid so boric acid can be used as ear drop but not only ear drop but they can also use it in the form of an eye wash and that was the use of boric acid so talking about the other that is antiseptic that is h2o2 so even h2o2 is basically an antiseptic that is at low concentration so in fact it can also have the tendency to kill the microorganisms or to stop the growth of microorganisms so therefore these are the certain uses of antiseptic that is what i have discussed over here and that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel